Hello, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Numerologist. Welcome to your Libra New Moon Forecast for October 19th. This happens at 8.12 p.m. London, at 3.12 p.m. New York, and 12.12 p.m. LA. It's a very beautiful new moon in the sign of harmony, in the sign of kindness and love and relationships and bringing things into balance. So your partnerships, business or personal, will be lit up in lights at this time. This is about cooperation and bringing things into a place of equilibrium. Now it happens at 26 degrees and 26 is a number of leadership. So you're going to step up your confidence level in terms of using your infinite resources. What is really calling you to step up with courage and using that to overcome any kind of challenges or obstacles. And because you're using this very powerful number, you gain a lot of strength. You're going through a lot of growth. So the quest for freedom is huge. Why? Because the sun and moon together are opposite Uranus. Uranus is at exactly 26 degrees in Aries opposite the sun and moon 26 degrees in Libra. So there could be some very sudden, unexpected, sometimes really radical, shocking events, exciting breakthroughs is what I call them. You know, once you get through the, um, the, the response and the adjustment period, you recognize what these gifts actually bring you in terms of recognizing some kind of truth. So the truth shall set you free is a really important mantra here. And in this case, the truth brings you peace. It brings you back into balance. So you're going to make a lot of discoveries that lead maybe to unexpected decisions in your life. You might even be feeling that already as we move into the full moon period. So these new plans are really in line anyway with October because October in 2017 is an 11 universal month and 11 is double one. One is new beginnings. So 11 always means you're walking through the portal and creating double new beginnings. So anything you start around this Libra new moon in all month is going to really set you up for the new era in your life and also preparing you for 2018, which is a full year of that number 11. So this is a very important month, October every year. Now the sun and moon are actually conjunct, that means right next to Jupiter, which is the feel good, the most benefic planet that we have. So the sun and moon are next to Jupiter, Jupiter is right next to Mercury. So there's a quadruple conjunction here with the sun and moon. Even though the sun, Jupiter and Mercury are in Scorpio, sun and moon are in Libra, they are close enough to each other to really form this um, very, very beautiful intensification of the new moon. So what does that mean? Well, Jupiter being so positive is going to expand your energy. It's going to expand financial flow and it's going to just make you feel lucky and flowing and joyful and fortunate. So you want to take advantage of these exciting gifts that will come your way, that bring you clarity, that bring you wisdom, that enhance your awareness, that recognize the divine messenger in you. Because Mercury, also being part of this quadruple conjunction, Mercury is the messenger. So how you communicate will be really received in a more positive way. Um, there will be less judgment. There will be more flexibility. Um, because the truth, once it's revealed, it's like there's going to be a sense of, well, I can't resist it. And no one will be left untouched by this beautiful conjunction with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter recently moved into Scorpio. This is a big deal. Uh, it stays in each sign around 12 months. So in October, Jupiter moved into Scorpio on the 10th of the 10th, very powerful day. So in Scorpio, it's going to deepen your search for what brings you joy. And you really have to go deeply for this, for that discovery process. So this is going to be for the next year. And because Jupiter then is conjunct the new moon, literally a couple weeks, well, actually a week later, 
it intensifies that new start of what truly brings me happy, what is really making me feel good, who in my life is contributing to allowing me to feel like I am up-leveling, like I am, um, they're supporting what's best for me, what's in my best interest. This is what Jupiter really searches for because ultimately when you feel happy and you have a smile inside and outside, you your life flows because you can receive no matter what happens, you're receiving it in a place of gratitude, which is what Jupiter stands for. Now, remember Uranus is opposite this new moon. It's bringing unexpected discoveries. It's bringing breakthroughs in the sense of what makes you happy, right? Because Jupiter is there on the other side. And this Jupiter-Uranus opposition has defined our whole year. Our search for happiness has gone through periods of totally unexpected, even shocking events. And they happen to cause a pattern interrupt, interrupting your normal patterns, right? So that at soul level, you have to go so deep to find your resources. And your resources will always take you when you tune in, right? You tune into your intuition. It'll always take you to your bliss, your pleasure, your joy. Remember also the 11 month takes you there too. 11 is about the psychic master, the intuition, the clear audience, clairvoyance that is naturally in you that everybody has. And it's awakening so fast right now. It's really, really an incredible time that we're uh, processing right now. So, and this involves in relationships. It, any relationship you're in, 11 will look more deeply at because 11, one plus one equals two, which is two people. So what do your relationships look like? What does your life look like as a result of being in these close, intimate relationships, whether business, close friends, soul-centered, you know, whatever it may be, this is an important time to really nurture those and get a lot of clarity on them as well. Now, to help you take responsibility for all these big aha moments, these truth-seeking moments, um, we have a T-square. Now, a T-square in astrology has a lot of, carries a lot of activation through um, tension. And the tension is there, just like we have major and minor in music, where minor causes tension and major resolves the tension. We have to have tension to get us motivated and apply ourselves. So don't fight the healing process in this, in this tension that takes place. It is really deep because Saturn and Chiron and Mars are part of this T-square. They're, they're asking you to really, uh, Mars is saying, take charge, do something about what is painful, and then allow it to unfold and the healing will happen. And Saturn makes sure that you take it seriously. So one more aspect to tell you about, actually two more, um, these are beautiful. Chiron forms a very tight 150 degree aspect with the new moon, which really brings healing through love. So again, the love you feel from your heart towards yourself and towards those who are in your life and even those who are not, right? You see something on the news or you see something while driving and you share your love, you send your love. This is very, very important with Chiron and the new moon at 150 degrees. It's a, um, it's, it's a genius aspect. It, it, it really takes uh, the very unusual ways of dealing with things and turns them into um, uh, almost like normality. So what you may feel you may not have done before now becomes your new normal. Very exciting, especially because it will help you heal because you're accepting something new and different into your life that just takes you on this new journey of, of truly accepting everyone and everything as it is, especially starting with yourself. And finally, we have the sun and moon forming a beautiful, harmonious sextile to Saturn. This is a 60 degree aspect. So this is really gorgeous. It brings a lot of relief to the, you know, unexpectedness in that T-square I just told you about. It allows you to focus. It brings creative endurance. And it also triggers that gorgeous grand trine that's been in effect most of the year between Saturn, Uranus, and the North Node. So it activates that because anything that touches Saturn or Uranus, which this new moon does, 
is a trigger for that beautiful triangle in the heavens that is really the whole culprit of these ultimately very, very positive shifts that humanity is experiencing at this time. So right now you're basically assimilating a lot of change, a lot of unprecedented um, momentum and events, especially since the big eclipse on August 21st, so much has shifted. So recognize that, consciously engage with the gifts that are brought, right? Everything in the end is a, an awakening, is a gift of taking you to a higher place, a, a higher level of understanding. So act on it, make sure that you nurture the shift and follow the yellow brick road, right? The road that leads you to where you feel your life is actually a new adventure, a new exciting place to be. And so remember that October is a preview of 2018 and 11 universal year. So whatever you do this month will really help define your life and how it will proceed and begin come January 2018. So a lot of healing, a lot of transmuting, a lot of stepping up into your true soul purpose. So have a beautiful new moon in Libra and I really look forward to seeing you in two weeks for the full moon. Lots of love.